And now I'm going to go to the eastern part of Croatia, inland, which is continental Croatia. And uh, I'm, as I mentioned to you before, the Croatian uplands and Slavonia and the Danube. These are two regions inland. Now, Slavonia and the Danube inland, that makes up about 31% of Croatia's vineyards. Now, I should mention, in comparison, the region of Istria and the other region, Dalmatia, on the Adriatic coast, those two together make up about 47% of Croatia's vineyards, and now Slavonia is about 31%, okay, inland. And here you find a lot of very interesting white grape varieties. Um, one grape that they do very well, and it's the most widely planted grape in all of Croatia, and that's called Grajevina. Grajevina is known also in Austria as Velschriesling, or Olash Riesling in Hungary, or Laski Riesling in Slovenia, or Grashats in Serbia. It's a regional grape, okay? And uh, the interesting thing about this grape, and why I'm fascinated with it, is it has a reputation for being rather sour, simple, uh, not a lot of character, not age, age worthy. Uh, you know, easy to drink, and in some cases, uh, I could even say plonk in many ways. In Austria, uh, it had that reputation for years, just, just simple, soury kind of wine. However, in recent years, uh, there's been a lot of focus on the good qualities of the grape it, that probably were never explored before, and uh, Producers in Croatia, in this region, in Slavonia, in the Danube, are they have been making wonderful, uh, strong versions of Grajevina that uh, are com uh, completely different to the uh, wines that I just described earlier, okay, the soury kind of wines. I mean, these have wines of body and character and freshness and and uh, roundness and um, some mineral appeal. Really, really very nice. The quality is, is just uh, impressive. And uh, you have some nice producers there, like uh, the Kutjevo, um, Ilochki Podrumi, uh, Krauthaka, uh, some very interesting producers in that region that make very good quality Grajevina, and you can have it in dry style, you can have it in semi-sweet style, or even in sweet styles. Um, and it's, uh, I want to mention that you find other fascinating versions also in Hungary, and to the north, I, I might have mentioned this to you before, to the north around Lake Balaton, you get some excellent versions. Um, and also in Austria, which is starting to do a very good job with Grajevina or Welsh Riesling, uh, excellent, excellent uh, to look at this grape and how I think his real personality is being explored today. So uh, for me, I personally uh, want to keep exploring in more depth Grajevina in Croatia and seeing what more the grape can do and what the winemakers uh, are doing with it. Um, another grape you might find very interesting, of course, which grows very nicely in Austria, is uh, called uh, Traminats or Gewürztramina. Some very lovely versions are being grown there in Slavonia and the Danube. Uh, and uh, although there's much less of that grape available, only 233 hectares in Croatia in that area, especially Slavonia.